On the Here at Six, how likely are you to catch the coronavirus? And if you do get it, how bad will it be? ABC Action News anchor Wendy Ryan shows us how scientists are working to answer those questions with a DNA test. What has COVID been like for you this year? Ugh. I think we're living in a different world, you know. A little ch challenging and confusing. What if a simple genetics test could make coronavirus less confusing? Would you get that kind of test? Oh, yeah, that would be interesting. I don't think so. I'd rather deal with it when I have to than worry about it in advance. Sure, I'd be interested in a genetic test. Some barely felt symptoms, whereas others felt ill for more than 60 days. You may have heard an ad from a DNA company. It's based in Ontario, Canada. And the company promises to tell you just how susceptible you are to catching the virus and how severe your case will be. The DNA company helps you understand your DNA in a way that no other company does. Genes are instructions. Genes tell your body what to do. We interviewed the DNA company CEO, Kashif Khan. We already know at the medical level how these systems work. We just need to match the genes to them. And that's what our science team did. The company says it's been studying genetic effects on infectious diseases for the past three years. At the DNA company, we've done the largest study of its kind, analyzing almost 10,000 individual genetic profiles. This past summer, Kashif says they had a breakthrough about COVID-19. The key to all of this? Inflammation in your body. If the genes that tell your body how to deal with inflammation aren't working well, then you're the person that's not going to be able to cope. For $299, the company will do a full DNA analysis, give you COVID-related information, and tell you how to change your way of life to avoid suffering from the disease. Now there's something that can actually be done because we can map out genetically why you're at risk and why you're sick. Genetics underlie some of the risk of COVID disease for sure. Dan Rader is the chair of the Department of Genetics at the University of Pennsylvania. To be perfectly honest, I don't think we're ready yet to be applying genetic principles to the clinical application of am I at risk of severe COVID disease. We just don't know enough yet. But he says experts are working on it. Welcome everyone. Andrea, are you going to lead off? This is the COVID-19 Host Genetics Initiative. It's a group of researchers from around the world. We currently have uh, around 34 studies from 16 countries. They've been getting together for the last seven months, all trying to figure out how genetics plays a role in COVID-19 infections. An area on chromosome three in which genetic variants clearly are related to the risk of severity of disease. Dan tells us the University of Pennsylvania is a member of the initiative and has contributed data to this group. Age, race, ethnicity, obesity, heart disease, lung disease, all the things we've heard about are really much more important right now in predicting risk than any kind of genetic variation that you might pick up with a genetic test. What is genetic and what's not? Dr. Catherine Ball is Ancestry.com's chief scientific officer. In addition to tracking people's family trees using genetics, Ancestry is participating in the global COVID-19 host genetics initiative as well. We've seen uh, several different genetic signals that is linked to either becoming infected, susceptibility, or symptom severity. But Dr. Catherine Ball says those mutations are very few and very rare. I'm Wendy Ryan, taking action for you.